seat covers in the front, new bumpers on the front and back. So <clears throat> I didn't save the bumpers. I didn't think they were valuable enough, you know, to save. But, all right. Uh, but I saved all the parts I uh, I took off. The steering wheel had been already done. So there's a new gas tank in it. The car didn't run when I got it. The gas was all screwed up. Right. In it. But he had bought all the way from the fill, the fill neck. You can see everything's brand new, the sending unit, all the way down to the gas tank. It's all brand new. Okay. <clears throat> it didn't leak or anything. It's got all new Michelin tires on it, you know, all the way around. The tools are still all in the pouch underneath here. Okay. I don't know if you need them out, but they're supposed to be stored underneath according to this diagram. So that's where I put them. We just want to show that there's no rust or anything there over here. There is no rust in this car. Anymore. I'll tell you anything bad I see. There's a couple of nicks in this car. There's one here. There's one. The next one is a little one right here. And that driver's side door has a little nick on the top edge. But this okay. is original paint. It's never been painted. Uh, my body shop guy couldn't match very well. He started touching a few up. And I told him it's making it look worse and better. Right. <laughs> so we just left it alone. It's a good looking car. Yeah, it is. 76,000 actual miles, what I told was told was original on it. Thing, you can hardly hear it run or anything, you know, so. It, now it tell me good. again the history that you know of the car. Well, this car was uh, originally bought and sold in California. Uh, a uh, single lady bought this car in California and uh, soon after she bought it, somebody tried to break into her garage and steal it and she was nervous somebody was going to come back and get it so she quickly sold it within the first year of owning it. And uh, a man in California bought it and it stayed there till the early 90s and he passed away and his brother lived in Watertown, Tennessee. He, he flew out to the Los Angeles area and picked it up and drove it all the way back here to Tennessee. Had no trouble bringing it here and he had it ever since. So, and I purchased it from him, so. And it's been garage kept garage forever. Garage kept all, and you'd have to be garage kept to look like this. Yeah. You know, it's, he said it's always been inside. So, we did, uh, we did, we had a very good body shop go through and buff it out professionally. The paint was a little bit dulled and uh, from just being older, but we had it all buffed out and cleaned up. And, uh, uh, just going over real good and everything seems to function and work very well on the car. It's got new tires the uh, previous owner had put on. Uh, we had to clean the carburetor and uh, rebuild and go through all the fuel systems that were clogged up from setting but we got the car running. It runs great. Let's and, get uh, some good pictures of the engine area okay, too. Okay, we can. I was told it was better to leave it original as much as possible. You can see the California style smog pumps that they used at that time. The exhaust system has even some special parts on it that must have been the laws of California to keep smog and all those type of things down. The previous owner uh, had a lot of the work done at the Ford garage. We can get some of that paperwork out later, but uh, he put on a lot of uh, new hoses and distributor cap wires and a lot of things. He did a, did a lot of maintenance on it, new belts have been pretty recently put on here. I put a new battery in it and the battery wasn't any good in here uh, and some new cable ends and so forth uh, and that type of thing. He had purchased these fog lights. They were not original to the car but they do make it you know look a lot nicer having the uh, fog lights on there. He had bought new bumpers. I put those on. Uh, being a rust-free car you know, I loosened the nuts one turn and was able to take the nuts off my fingers every one of them huh. so that that's pretty unbelievable for a car from the 60s so it's a it's a good solid car it's a good solid car it runs good and uh, it's very good shape for it for the uh, year it is it's very good shape you want this closed yeah okay this did get what they checked a box with a sprint upgrade. Uh, I think that included these turn signals that you can see from the uh, inside of the automobile. There are a few cars that had those in 67, a very desirable hood. A lot of them just had the very flush and plain hood on it. I think it also included the rocker panels that are on here that are chrome. I, I think that was also an upgrade uh, that came with that package. The I'm sport not, sprint. Yeah, it was a sprint package that they called it. And right. we'll look through that paperwork later. And uh, on the interior, do we want to look inside? Yeah. 
on the inside. <clears throat> The seat covers were replaced on both sides here. There was a little bit of wear on the driver's side, which you normally do uh, get uh, from getting in and out. The steering wheel has been replaced. All the bezels on the dash are new. Uh, all the uh, gauges are original. Uh, the uh, radio is new. Uh, that was installed and it, he was in the process of changing that when I bought it because the wires are still out, but it is hooked up and functional today. So the rest of the interior, I was told, is original. The seats, headliner, carpet, and all those things are original to the car. These uh, door plates right here were replaced uh, just to get some shinier ones there uh, and uh, that type of thing. So it's a pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice interior. Yeah. It doesn't shake much. Is that, is that a fine run? Look at that over Ha, 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 ha. 